Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today we are going to talk about how to fix external hard drive not initialized. We have two parts in this video. Part one, situation one, not initialized, unallocated space. Part two, situation two, not initialized, no disk space. I have a hard drive. And I haven't used it for a long time. When I connected it to the computer, it was shown as not initialized.、Uh -oh. Now I'm going to fix this. If you have same problem with your hard drive, you can't miss this video. Let's turn to part one to see the first situation. If your desk is in this situation, you can fix it with two methods. Method one, Alme Partition Assistant. With Alme Partition Assistant, you can rebuild your MBR and fix disk not initialized issue, and it won't cause any data loss. Just Google Alme Partition Assistant, download and install it. Click Alme Partition Assistant and get into the interface of it. Here you can see your disks and their information clearly. If your disk MBR is corrupted, as I mentioned above, you need to rebuild it. Here you can see my disk three shows not initialized, unallocated space. Get back to Alme Partition Assistant. Click your disk. Here is disk three, and click Rebuild MBR. In this pop-up window, choose your system. Here I choose Windows 10 as an example, and click OK, and click Apply. Click Proceed. After that, your hard drive can be shown normally. Method two, disk management and disk part. If method one is not working for your situation, you can directly use these two tools to initialize it, but it will cause the data loss. Here are the detailed steps. The first tool is disk management. Type Windows and R to open the ROM box. Next. We input diskmgmt.msc to get into disk management. Here you can see your disks and their information. We can see disk three is shown as not initialized and it has unallocated space. We right-click on it and select Initialize Disk. In this pop-up window, we can choose to initialize it to MBR or GPT. It's according to your situation. I choose MBR here and click OK. It gets back to normal now. If you receive an error saying the request could not be completed because of an input or output device error like this, when you click Initialize Disk, this error is possibly caused by the connection problem. You can use another cable to connect the external hard drive. If possible, connect it to another working computer and try it again. The second tool is Disk Part. Type Windows at R to open the ROM box. Next, we input disk part to get into it. Remember to press Enter after each command. Type list disk. All your disks are shown here. Disk three is not initialized, so I choose it. Input select disk three. And input attributes disk clear read only. Type online disk. Then the disk is successfully online. If you want to convert MBR or GPT, you can keep typing convert MBR or convert GPT depending on your situation. I convert MBR here. Now we made it. Let's go to part two to see another situation. If your desk is in this situation, you need to check your desk first to see if there is a physical error. If there is nothing bad of the desk, you can turn off the PC, disconnect the hard drive for a while, and turn on the computer. Then shut down the computer, reconnect the hard drive to your PC, and restart the PC to see if the desk can be shown normally. If it is not working, you can try the two methods below. Method one. Go check whether your driver is outdated. 
If so, you need to upgrade the outdated driver. Here are the detailed steps. Right-click Stop button. Select Device Manager from the list. Click Disk Drivers. Right-click the hard drive, select Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for updated driver software. After that, it will be worked. Method 2. If your hard drive's problems still can be fixed after these operations, you need to check if there are bad sectors or it is physically broken. You can use Alme Partition Assistant to do this. Get into Alme Partition Assistant first, right-click your desk and choose Surface Test. In this pop-up window, click Quick Check and click Start to execute it. Then the bad sectors and other information will show up. That is all about how to fix external hard drive not initialized. Hope you can get what you need after watching this video. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.